What's up guys, this is Dylan, and welcome back for episode 5 of Project Zomboid. And today, we're going to try and get back to our safe house. We're currently in the house we had to take refuge in last episode. This an unexpected horde. And actually, I can hear a helicopter. You hear the helicopter? Of course you do. That is going to most likely be a problem. Because zombies like the noise of helicopters. And he is loud, too. That one in that house is going crazy trying to get out at the helicopter. And there's a lot of zombies. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. There's a bunch of zombies headed towards the sound of the helicopter. But it looks like they're more concerned with the sound of the heli than they are with me, so that's a good thing. We'll just let them carry on. This guy in the helicopter, man, he needs to take off somewhere or something. Get out of here. That really is an in-game event, too, by the way, that makes the zombies go crazy. They have lots of dynamic things like that. You'll hear gunshots off in the distance. And this guy. And we can't go that way. So, try and give this guy the shake here. Go around these guys. Thought well, we took care of most of our zombie problems yesterday, but I guess it is a zombie apocalypse, right? Is there just a few here? Cut around them. That one is going to pay attention to me. Lead those few over here. Well, I'll just see if I can't. These are the shops that we were in before where I busted the door down. Fucking helicopter's back. Needs to just get out of here, man. Well, if we head back down this way, we'll be in the trailer park again. I don't think I want to do that. I'd like to try and stick close to the safe house. Maybe make our way back there. There's too many zombies in the path, though. We're just going to have to go into another house. This will be the second or third day without being at the safe house. Can't really call it a safe house much if we're not there too much, huh? Although I guess it might be relatively safe while we're gone. We are not. And here's this guy. Just try and pull him over here and take him out. I'm just checking my 360 to make sure they're not coming behind me. Spade is much better than the golf club. Still like to have a bat or an axe though. That'd be pretty good. But if I had a fire axe, I could just kite four or five of them like they were nothing.
There's another trailer up here. I think I remember going past this to get toward the safe house. Forgive me for being bad at directions, guys. But zombie problems kind of throw us out of our path. And I'm thinking maybe we should just find somewhere else to stay and let all that stuff that we got at the house just sit there. Because we will eventually find it again. But I do need to get a good storage of water going. And that's it's actually priority until the water shuts off. Just stocking up on water. Take these guys out. I'll just leave that one alone. Doesn't seem to be paying any attention to me. See if these ones will just space off. Yeah, we're not gonna go that way. Just hop this fence right here, probably. Or go around. Yeah, I'll just go around. And hope all these zombies don't notice me. They don't seem like they are. Just if you walk with your weapon ready to swing you actually walk slower and quieter so it's kinda like sneaking you wonder why I do that a lot because I do it a lot Take this guy out. Here's something rustling in the bushes. Hopefully that hasn't attracted the attention of those guys over there. And whatever's in the bushes doesn't seem to be paying attention anymore. So I'm bo I'm positive that I heard it, but if it was there it would have jumped out at me so right close this window why oh, is it gonna make me walk all the way out this is probably gonna attract the attention of those zombies over there oh, it's made me walk all the way out I'm almost positive they're gonna be coming this way yep here they all come Oh no. Oh no. Save Majibus. Save Majibus. Oh shit. And hopefully we don't run into another large horde down here and get sandwiched. That would be terrible. Alright, I think we outran them. 
And by breaking line of sight of this house, they won't be paying attention to us. They do come down this far, so. Check inside real quick. Doesn't look like there's anything in there. As far as zombies go, anyway. We're hungry, thirsty, tired, panicked. And I think we're just going to head in here. Did they even come to... Yeah, there's a zombie down there, so... They're a decent ways away from the house. If we enter in from the opposite side, we should be okay. Just close any curtains that we can. Did look like one of the windows in the here had curtains. That one does. And this one right here does as well. Hopefully the front ones do. It's always good to find a house that already has curtains on it because then you don't have to hang a sheet. All those sheets are pretty commonplace. Yeah, that's got curtains on the side, but we just won't go in there. The front room was pretty exposed. Dead rat. <laughs> Not yet. I know we're taking dog food, but that's just to have it collected. doing the white inventory screens again so I'm just gonna drag that one down here if the other one becomes a problem I'll drag it down there too that's what I always do I can't figure out how to put them back and then they always become a bother to me because you can see both lists through each other but it's not that big of a problem to me oh, don't want the flour I'll take the noodles though cabbage. We'll eat that because it gives us hunger and thirst, so. Chips and another cooking pot. And I'm pretty sure there was an upstairs too, so we'll just check that and make sure there's no guests in the house. And if there are, we'll act accordingly. There are other survivor NPCs that you can run into. I've seen them before. I don't know if they're in this build or not, but because I haven't seen them recently. Usually, though, I just kill them when I see them because, I mean, they're pretty pointless. You can have the option to team up with them, but if you team up with them, they just are dumb. They're not, you know... They don't take care to be stealthy or any of those things. And I assume they like eating, and I like eating too. And this town ain't big enough for the two of us. If they were more useful, I probably would let them be around. But they're not. And there's a baseball bat. 
we've got a bat now. That'll do us much better than the shovel. Although I will still keep the shovel because it can be used for digging and planting a garden. And I imagine once we get the water shut off and the power shut off, we head down towards the well, we'll just start a garden and if that goes for a while and it's pretty successful, you guys probably won't want to watch me do that anymore, so might just end it. But we're not even close to that yet, so I would put the money on dying before that happens. I'm gonna shut these curtains right here. Shut the curtains over there too. And uh, I didn't notice if there was a dresser over here or not. I don't think that there is. Alright guys, this is going to be it for this episode. Don't forget to leave a comment and a rating. As always, thanks for watching. See you next episode.